In this video, I'll show you how to create a dynamic website by using Advanced Custom Fields and Royal Elementor add-ons, how to create a directory or a job listing website, add custom post types, custom taxonomies and custom fields, how to use Royal add-ons theme builder to create page templates and many other tips and tricks. And if that's what you're looking for, let's get started. This is the kind of website that we're going to create in this tutorial where we can have a directory or a listing of some real estate properties, we're going to create a custom post type, like this directory here, we will add an archives page or a template for the directory, as well as some custom taxonomies or categories for our properties, which we can use as a filters. We'll learn how to create custom fields by using Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugin, which comes with Royal Elementor add-ons. We'll also create a singles page for the properties where we can display some custom fields as well as Google Maps and some additional custom taxonomies like this property features here. So let's don't waste any time and get started. I have already imported some demo kits, so let's go to plugins page just to check which plugins I'm using. You can see that there's only Elementor, Royal Elementor add-ons and Royal add-ons Pro version. And I have activated the expert plan because advanced custom fields is only available when using the expert plan. And you can see that advanced custom fields is right here, but it is not listed on plugins page. And that's because it is included in Royal Addons Pro version when using experts plan. Also keep in mind that we are talking about advanced custom fields pro version, not the free version, which means that all the premium features of ACF are available. All right, first things first, let's see how to create our custom post type. So go to the dashboard and in ACF click on post types, add post type, enter the name in plural and it could be anything, but in our case it is directories. Let's enter the singular name as well. And ACF will generate the post type key for us based on the post type name. You can always change it if you want, but this name will also be the URL of our directory's post type and its archive. So keep that in mind. Next, check the advanced configurations option. Scroll down a bit and go to URLs tab, where we can see this setting called permalink rewrite. And if we keep this setting to post type key, which is default, it means that post type key will be used as archives URL. Let's go back to advanced settings and make sure to activate the archives option, otherwise the archives page won't be available. Click on save changes and that's it. We have our first custom post type called directories. Next we can create some custom taxonomies for our post type, like this property types here. And customomies are like categories that we can apply to each property and we will create two different taxonomies one for property types and one for property features. So let's go back to the dashboard and in ACF click on taxonomies. Add taxonomy and again let's enter the name in both plural and singular. Taxonomy key will be used as a URL for the taxonomies archive page. And finally we need to associate our taxonomy with the custom post type, which in our case is the directory. Save changes and let's repeat these steps for the property features as well. So go back to taxonomies and click on add new. Enter the name, this time property features and property feature for singular. ACF will generate the taxonomy key. And again, we need to associate taxonomy with directories post type. Finally, click on save changes. We have our custom post types and taxonomies, which means that it's time to create some custom fields. So let's click on field groups. But before we add field group, let me show you how custom fields are displayed in WordPress editor. Property details is the custom fields group, and there are all kinds of custom fields we can add to this group, including gallery field. So let's go back to the dashboard and click on add field group. Let me paste the name, property details, and the first field we're going to add is the deal type, which is a select field, 
which means that in field types list we need to find the select field. Enter the label name. It will auto generate the field name based on the label. Next, we need to add some options right here. Each option should be on a separate line. In our case, it will be for rent and for sale. Go to presentation tab and enter 33 in wrapper attributes, which means that this field will take one third of the entire editor's width. Go back to the ACF editor and add another field. This time it will be simple text field. Enter the label and generate field name. Again in presentation set the wrapper attributes to 33. And now we can add another field which is price. And this field is going to be a numeric field. So add field. Select the number. Let's simply call it a price. And set the wrapper attributes to 33 again. Next three fields are going to be simple text and numeric fields and I don't want to make this video too long so I'll just skip this part and fast forward. As you can see I've already added the next three fields. Address will also be a regular text field but if we go to the demo site we can see that we also have a Google Maps widget. And the good news is we can display Google Maps in Elementor based on the address text field. So let's quickly add the text field called address. Let me close it. Go back to the editor because as we can see, we also have this nice gallery field here. And since we are using ACF's Pro version, all the fields are available for us including the gallery field. Just scroll down a bit and here it is. Our gallery field. Give it a label and field name. And we have already created all of our custom fields. Save changes just in case. But we're not completely done here. Because there's one more important step we need to do. Down here in settings, there is a location rules where we can determine where we want to show this field group in WordPress editor. And in our case, we need to show this field group when post type is equal to directory. Save changes again. And now we can already start adding some content to our site. We can start with adding some taxonomies like property features and property types. So let's go back to the dashboard and in directories click on property types. Let me quickly add some property type like apartment for example. And as you can see I have also added house and office types. Next let's go to property features and repeat the same steps. I'm gonna skip this part and fast forward not to waste any time here. You can see I've added few property features which means that it's time to add some actual properties. So let's click on add new. I will copy paste some dummy content here. Enter some values in custom fields and finally add few images to the gallery. On the right sidebar, let's go to Directories tab, where we have our property features. Let me quickly add a few of them. Repeat same steps for property types. And finally choose the featured image. Now I'll go back to the Directories list and quickly add some more properties just like this. So we can move on to the next part of the tutorial, which is creating an archives template for the directory. In our dashboard, go to Royal Addons and click on Theme Builder. Find the Archives tab and click on Create Template. I'm just going to call it Directory. And next we need to add conditions. To choose where this template should be displayed. And of course we have to choose Directory's Archive. Save Conditions. And it will take us to the Elementor Editor. Let's add the Post Grid widget to the Editor which will display some posts, but it is very important to set the source to current query. It will retrieve the relevant posts into the editor. Post filter is active by default, but it shows the wrong taxonomies. So let's go to filters and in select taxonomy, choose property types. Now the filter shows the right categories. 
this data that is displayed in PostgreSQL is coming from the element section. But we do not need most of them, so let's quickly delete and leave on the title, because we have to add some custom fields here. And to do that, click on Add Item. In Select Element, we have to choose Custom Field. Next, in Select Custom Field, we need to enter the custom field name. And if for some reason custom field names are not displayed here, we can always go to ACF's Custom Fields Editor and copy and paste the field name. Just like that. As we can see, it shows the property price. In Display option, let's select Inline and we can also manually change the field's position. Let's continue adding some custom fields. Again, choose the custom field. In Select Field Name, copy and paste the field name. This time I'm going to paste the price page. Align horizontally and display inline. And finally drag and drop it to the top. Let's quickly add another one. This time it will be bedroom. And custom field can also have some icons. So down below we can choose extra icon position. Let's set it before element and choose some icon from the library. Bad icon, no surprise. It looks fine. And for the rest of the fields, I'll stop the recording because the steps are completely same. And I will also apply some styles to our postgrid because I don't want to spend entire video on styling the elements. All right, I've edited the rest of the custom fields and applied some styling. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard and visit our directories archive. That's how it looks for now, including the filters. And as I've already mentioned, post type key is the URL of the archives page. Time to create this singles template for directories post type. So let's go to Theme Builder again and click on Singles tab. Let's call it Single Directory. Create template, add conditions, and of course choose directories. Save conditions and go to Elementor Editor. I have already prepared some very basic layout as well as some simple text as section titles and edit the banner on the top. And this is how the singles page should look, so let's start with the price page. In widgets list, let's find the royal add-ons special widget for custom fields and drag and drop it into this column. Select custom field, which is price page. Align left and add another custom field, this time align right and choose property price. We can also add some extra text like price and maybe a dollar sign. To display the date information we can use the post meta widget. Delete this taxonomy element and maybe add some extra text as well. Go to style and set the alignment to the left. Next is the deal type, so let's add another custom field widget and choose deal type. Add some extra text again. And for the rest of the fields, I will post the video and fast forward because the steps are exactly the same. All right, I have added some more custom fields, including the address, and now it's time to learn how to display Google Maps by using address custom field. And for this one, we can use the Elementor's native Google Maps widget. Let me drag and drop it here. And in Location, we can choose the custom field and select Address in Settings. And the Google Maps will automatically locate the address, we just have to make sure that it's a valid address. For the description, we can use the Post Content widget because it's just a standard WordPress post content. Let me adjust the location. And for features, Royal Add-ons have a very handy widget called Taxonomy List. Because remember, those features are actually custom taxonomies. In Query, let's select Taxonomy, which is Property Features. We can disable links and maybe set an icon like this checkmark. 
and I think it makes sense if we disable show counts option. It's time to add the gallery field to our template. So let's find the widget called image grid slash slider and drop it on top of the other elements. Set the selection to manual. Click on this icon and select the custom field gallery. Next, select our gallery field, which will display the images, but in layout, we need to set it to slider carousel and finally set the columns to one. To complete the template, let's make sure to add the post title and maybe some breadcrumbs right below the title. We have already added all the custom fields we have created. And again, let me post the video to apply some styling. Now it looks identical to the original template. But before we wrap this up, I'd like to discuss some important feature, which is we already know that we can display custom fields by using Royal Addons custom fields widget. But same can be done by using any other eligible widgets, including the widgets that come with Elementor. For example, we can display the custom fields value by using the simple button widget. Let me drag and drop it here. All we have to do is to click on this icon which says dynamic tags, select custom field and choose which custom field value we want to display. That's how simple it is. So let's update the page and go back to our website. Click on directory just to check if everything works as it should. Go to details page and here it is our gallery field as well as rest of the content. Let's make a quick recap of what we've done here. First, we've created a custom post type by using advanced custom fields. Then we've created some custom taxonomies as well as custom fields. In Royal Addons Theme Builder, we've created archives template for our custom post type as well as singles template. If you want to learn more about how to use the Theme Builder, you can click here. And by using the Theme Builder, you can also create a complete and fully functional WooCommerce shops, like you can see in these images, for example. They are all created by using Royal Addons Theme Builder. To purchase the Pro version or upgrade to Expert Plan, please go to Royal Elementor Addons official website. Here you can find all the additional features that come with Pro and Expert plans. In case you have any questions, please visit our support forum. I hope you find this video helpful and if that's the case, please like and subscribe to stay in tune with future updates and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.